All right, guys, we're back here on the back lot. This is on the west side. So, if you were coming through the gate right off the blacktop road, uh, this is the first thing you're going to see here. We're going to take off to the left. We've got the 12 roll 38 Yetter Fertilize Applicators. We've got the John Deere 1720 with the big boxes on it. Uh, ground drive, 12 roll 38. Uh, got a 886 cultivator on a Worthman bar. You can kind of see it back here behind it. Got another Worthman 886 Worthman cultivator sitting back here behind it. Got just a Worthman bar right there on the ground. And then right here, you're going to have a Henniker 12 row 38 right there at the end. Right here to our left side, let me get you over here. We can kind of see this right here. I'm gonna leave these windows up. This is a, another day and it's a lot colder down here. And I still don't feel too good. So y'all just bear with me. I hope you can see it good enough. But that truck right there is probably, I think it's around a mid nineties. Let's just say 94, 95 Freightliner. I don't know what size engine is in it. It's got the stainless steel tank on it right there. Uh, got a fuel tank right there behind it too uh right after it you got the 930 draper head another one of these kelly 45 i'll roll this one down you can see it a little bit better the sun's not too good right there but got a kelly 45 it's got the single wheels on the center on it right after it got the humdinger 45 foot got a 1650 brand then that's a good looking Kelly diamond hair right there. That looks good. All right, so we're gonna turn back to the north now over here where we got the truck sitting at. And I'll try to just hit both sides at the same time. Get back here where y'all can see because right here on the north where we're talking about that Henniker was just now, we've got a 12 row do all and a 1200 planter. A 1200 planter, it's ground drive also. Anyway, here we go. Got the little Freightliner truck. Got the International truck. And there's a Landall. I'm going to circle behind where y'all can see that here in a minute. But there's a Landall tilt bed uh, trailer with a winch on it. You need a wet kit for your truck there to operate it. But uh, you got the... And there's that blue international it's listed on the sale bill also but then you got another international right there hopper bottom gmc bob truck those are cotton seed trailers coming up next and then we got a few more trucks down here i'll just let you see these trucks and then i'll back up that one's on the sale bill got a mercedes engine and a little red freight liner and i do not know the year on any of these trucks but those two right there are on the sale bill also on those freight liners got the orange and white international there on the end all of them got hopper bottoms except the little orange and white one there's a wheeler hopper and probably a couple of cps's oh i'd say all three of those are probably cps's Let me jump over here to the other side now where y'all can see over here i know my windows are filthy and truck's filthy too but y'all just bear with me here all right right after that 1200 planter over here on the other side you got the case filled cultivator got another 1200 planter another 886 cultivator got a worthman that's not an 886 cultivator it's some type of john deere cultivator back there but it's not 886 We've got the reynolds pan great plains drill that's probably 16 yard Reynolds pan right there. 24 foot Great Plains drill, McFarland Hara. Another 16 yard Reynolds. I'm going to make a quick circle around here to where y'all can see because it's kind of laid out odd just to do. We had so much stuff that come in on us. Let's drive around here on the back side of these trucks. There's a Reynolds 17 yard pan right there. A couple little gravity wagons. But this is a pretty high dollar trailer back here. And 
I just didn't want y'all to miss because you couldn't really see it the way it's blocked in. But this Landall Tilt trailer right there, you can see it's got the winch cable. That's actually a really good trailer. The guy just doesn't need it anymore and wasn't using it. But the way it's kind of sitting right there, it's kind of gotten hit. But uh, if you're looking for something like it, that's a good trailer. I'm gonna get turned back around here now. What you're gonna see next, I've got a couple little side mount mowers sitting here, some John Deere power units. But we got this uh, Case 9040B excavator come in here. It doesn't have a thumb on it, but it's got the attachment if you wanna put a mechanical thumb on it. Got the detached trailer. A little pony motor on it. Uh, got a Landall 7831 high speed disc. And all this would be like if you were going to go through the gate right there to go up to the front light. Then right across from the excavator, got some John Deere power units. Gain deer, cedar, honeybee header. There's another float kind of sitting behind the power units. I don't know if you can see them or not, the way the sun's glaring. A couple fertilized tender trucks. A couple 2500 uh, Chevy trucks. And one of those, that one of the back's got a blown head gasket. I don't know if the front one has any issues or not, but I know that one in the back, they think it's got a blown head gasket. Got the Brent. GCP 1700 car. Let's see here. All right, now we're gonna take off down the gravel here. Goes over to the east lot. I'm gonna back up here a little bit where y'all can kind of see, kind of get a wide view of what you're gonna be looking at. I'll tell you, we'll just go down the left side I'll get down here and turn around and we'll come right back down the right side. That'd be easiest. So, right here on the left, got a Great Plains. What model is it? I'm drawing a blank on what model planter that is right there. But it's a twin row, 12 row 38. It'd be set up on for 12, 12 row 38 twin rows. But anyway, you got the Great Plains planter. John Deere 1890-1910 drill set up 40 foot. 925 flex, 9600 combine. That combine and head, that's a good combine right there too. A guy from up north of Kenna brought that and he brought the head with it. That head was on that combine, but uh, both are real good combines. A couple 4300 field cultivators. John Deere no-till drill. A little triple K. Got a rental dejector pan. Gregson pull top sprayer. Gooseneck trailer with probably a 1600 gallon tank on the back of that gooseneck right there. Schulte cutter, it's probably a 20 foot. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a 20 foot Schulte cutter. Right there, and a 9986 picker. Come from up here north of Kent. And that's a good running little picker too. I'm gonna swing around here. We'll come back and get this side here after a while. Make sure we get everything over here on this southwest lot. flex 925 9600 that head and combine this head right here the 694 those all come together same man that on the picker on those a little pipe roller a little ditcher chisel a couple john deere cult packers two 32 foot discs those are 637s nine inch spacing on those all right let's circle around the back side Each field Let me get turned around here where you can see a little bit better. There we go. 
little case IH field cultivator, another 637 disc. That is probably like a 38 foot, that's a big disc. Six cylinder case power unit. Boy, there's something you don't see a whole lot of right there. I don't know what size that is. But you got the six cylinder case. Uh, looks like we got three, four cylinder John Deere sitting in there. Then here's something that's a late addition. I don't know much about, I don't even know, I wasn't here when they brought these in, but we got these 1235 uh, case planters right here. We got the no-till uh, residue removers on the front of them. Looks like they're on pneumatics. Uh, trying to see if there's anything else here I can tell you on. Uh, looks like they're hydraulic drive. I don't believe, that's not ground drive on those. Uh, but you may want to come out here and take a look at those, check those out. Bunch of power units sitting in here. Henniker cultivator on the Orthman bar, Landall cultivator behind it. 30 foot flat roller. All right, guys, that's the end of that one. I'm gonna shut her down here and we'll jump over here to the other side.